Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Muhammad Hassan and I'm back with another cool physics video. I hope you have gone through my previous video about block on block in the presence of friction. I have linked that video in the upper right corner. You can check the video by clicking there. This video will teach you a trick of how to find the equivalent dielectric constant when different materials are placed in between the capacitor. But before that, I need to tell you that if you want to win this subject, first of all, you need to have a good concept of the topic and then you should jump into tricks in order to master this subject. This is what I believe. It is only then you will fall in love with the subject. So let's romanticize the process of studying and enjoy the process. So let's get started. So the question here is, find the equivalent dielectric constant for this setup. So you can see that uh, the capacitor has three dielectric material in between the plates. Okay, so you need to find out the equivalent K. This question was asked in the year 2016 NEAT. Let's see how to solve this. I'll show you the traditional way first so that you can understand the concept and after that I'll show you the trick at the end of the video in order to show you how to solve this question within like 30 seconds okay because you'll see that the traditional way is a bit long process and it will take around two minutes sometimes and if you're slow in calculation then it will take around three minutes to complete the thing but if you apply the trick that can be done within 15 to 20 seconds as we can see that uh, this is a capacitor in which there are four materials like k1 k2 k3 and k4 basically we see that we have capacitor in this fashion okay but here the setup is like this okay so don't get confused we know that capacitance depend upon k and the formula is c is equal to k epsilon naught a by d where k is the dielectric constant e epsilon naught is permittivity of the material and a is the area and d is the thickness of the material okay so this is the formula that we'll be using. So K1 will have C1 as the capacitance. K2 will have C2 as capacitance. K3 will have C3 as capacitance. Okay. Now if you look carefully, then you'll see that C1, C2 and C3, that this one, these three capacitance are in parallel. So you can say that C1, C2 and C3 are in parallel combination this whole thing is again in series with this whole thing is in series with k4 that is you can say it will have a capacitance of c4 so this much is clear i think since c1 c2 and c3 are in parallel we can find the equivalent of c1 c2 and c3 so let's jump into that and see we know that for parallel capacitance the equivalent capacitance is nothing but the summation of the capacitance equivalent capacitance c dash will be c1 plus c2 plus c3 this is what we have done okay but before that let me tell you that the value of c1 is k epsilon naught a by 3 d by 2 because a by 3 because the area of this k1 is actually a by 3 for k2 it is again a by 3 for K3, again it is A by 3 and the thickness of the material is D by 2 and we have put the value in the formula C is equal to K epsilon naught A by D and we have got the respective values of C1, C2, C3 and C4. We'll be using this value while finding the equivalent capacitance. Now let's come down. So we got the equivalent capacitance C dash, this one for uh, parallel combination is C1 plus C2 plus C3. So the total equivalent capacitance including this like C4. So now what we are telling that if you want to replace this whole thing into a single K then what will happen? We have already found out the equivalence of K1, K2, K3. Now these three are in parallel and K1, K2, K3 is again uh, in series with K4. So we know that for series we know that in series c equivalent is given by 1 by c equivalent is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 dot dot in this fashion this is the formula so we have applied that so the total equivalent capacitance will be c dash that is the parallel combination that we have found out and 
which is in series with C4. So this is the C equivalent formula. I hope this much is clear. Now what we have done is we have put the value of C equivalent. We know C equivalent will be K equivalent. This is K equivalent epsilon naught A by D. And for C dash, we have used the addition of C1 plus C2 plus C3. Okay, because these three were in parallel. And this is the value of C4, which we have already found out. And we have put the values here. Okay. Now, after arranging the thing, we can see that most of the things will get cancelled out. And we got this result. Okay. So, you may be thinking this is easy. But if you take a pen and paper and start calculating these things, it will take a bit of time, like around two minutes. It's not that easy to calculate very fast. Okay, now I will show you the shortcut trick by which you can solve this within 15 seconds. Okay, so let's start. The disclaimer is that uh, this trick will only work if area is divided equally among k in parallel. So all the k's that are in parallel, the areas should be equally divided. Like if there are four materials like this, suppose this is the plate, these are the plates, the upper plate and the lower plate and your k may be divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, suppose 6 part. So each one should have area that is equally divided. Then only this technique will work. If you come, if you look at this k4, it has only single thing. So it doesn't matter and that area is a. Okay. So it doesn't matter when it is greater than one, then only you need to see whether the area is same or not. And most of the time, the question that will be asked in your exam will have equal areas so that this trick exactly fit into that. Okay. So let's see the formula. If this is the pattern that is given in your exam, what you need to do is one by K, this is the equivalent K is equal to first, I'll show you how to write it down. Okay. And then I'll explain. See the lower portion this k1 plus k2 plus k3 dot dot kn if there are n number of materials that are in parallel that is this part this combination part okay so this is the number of k in parallel that has the same area and thickness so this is done and then this n is the number of k number of k in parallel here number of k is one two three so n will be three here and this x this x is the fraction of d that is the fraction of thickness see the total thickness is d so the fraction of thickness here is d by 2 that is x will be half in this question so this is how you need to do the thing again this is the next series combination again if there are more series combination then it will come next okay here we can see this is the first combination and this is the same second combination and these two are in series so what we will do We'll just put a plus sign in between okay so i'll show you how to do don't worry just look at this how to derive this formula directly by looking at the figure so let's draw this the value of this will we can directly write is 1 by k is equal to this is the first combination this part so there are three k's so we can directly write k1 plus k2 plus k3 since there are three k's since there are three k's so the area is divided into three parts equally so it will be three i told n is equal to number of k's in parallel having equal areas and x is the fraction of d x is the fraction of d so the fraction of d for this part is half so you can write half here just remove this one again plus the second part the second part is this one k4 so again the same trick there is only one material so k4 so area is again one because only one material is used here three material was used so area was divided into three parts here only one material is used so no division so it will be one and the fraction again it will be see the fraction here is d by 2 again so you can write d by 2 like 1 by 2 i hope this is clear now let's uh, i need to rub this because i have already written this if I rub this and you can easily solve, just pause the video and try whether you are getting the correct thing or not. So for this, 1 by k will be equal to very simple. The first combination is this one, the upper one. Okay. So it will be k1 
k1 plus k2 plus k3 okay now each of them has area a by 3 that is area is divided into three parts so 3 and the fraction of thickness is half so 1 by 2 you can write this okay so the next combination the next uh, part will be again there are two materials so k4 plus k5 so two areas two and the fraction is again half so you can write in in this fashion so this will be the answer for equivalent k directly you can look at the figure and find out the result so let's try some more uh, this is again fourth part so very easy just pause the video and try it yourself like there are four materials so k1 plus k2 plus k3 plus k4 so do above it will be four because area is divided into four equal parts and the fraction of thickness is one by two okay plus so there are two material again so k5 plus k6 Area is divided in two parts and the thickness is one half like d by two so half is the fraction of thickness for this let's draw see how fast we are calculating you can't imagine like it's magic like k1 plus k2 plus k3 now i won't explain this will be three and this will be see the fraction here is d by four so one by four okay now uh, let's take this and make it a little bit smaller so that i could fit this thing here now the next part is k4 plus k5 it is divided into two equal parts so two and the fraction is half so it will be half again one by two and the last one is a single one very easy k6 one and the fraction of d is 1 by 4 so 1 in by 4 so this is your answer simple as that i hope the concept is clear now if any kind of combination of this type is given in your exam i hope just by looking at the option you can take the correct one just you need to have this bullet in your pocket just take out the gun and shoot it and you're good to go take the options and move forward so this is all for this video if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel then please consider doing so stay at home and be safe till next time enjoy your studies and build your concept and i will catch you all in my next video bye bye